Today we're going to give some much needed attention to a truck we all know and love, stub truck. We have stub truck back in the shop now, and the funniest part is that even though we've been really hard on it and abusing it, the most damage occurred when I flipped it over doing a NordVPN ad. That's when the hood and hood stack got all mangled, the fender and the headlight got all smashed, and the cab bent a bit and shattered the windshield, which that caused the door jams to not line up with the darn anymore. So we're gonna work on fixing all that stuff, as well as improving the whole truck overall by lifting the front axle a bit, which Skeeter already has that partially torn apart, as well as we're gonna ditch my stupid leaf spring rear suspension setup and switch for a custom triangulated four link with these coil spring struts back here. So that's gonna be a lot smoother, a lot stronger, perform a lot better overall. The most convenient thing about all this is that NordVPN is also the sponsor of today's video. Although this time, instead of doing anything crazy, I'm just gonna stand here and talk about them and hopefully not do any more damage to the truck. <laughs> VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and I highly recommend using a VPN if you wanna enjoy more safety and security while surfing the web. Since I got NordVPN, I've left it turned on on my phone and computer literally nonstop and I love it and haven't even noticed any slowdowns, probably because NordVPN is tested to be the fastest on the market. NordVPN came in real handy when I went home for Christmas because my sister just married this Canadian dude and apparently a lot of Canadians love to watch their hockey games. But since he was spending Christmas in Florida with the rest of my family, his Canadian streaming service wasn't working and he wasn't able to watch his games in Florida. So then I just told him to get NordVPN and use my code for a little discount because with the VPN, he was able to hook up to a Canadian server and trick his computer into thinking he was in Canada. And then bada bing, bada boom, he was able to enjoy a crystal clear stream of his hockey games. If you want to be a little more entertained and learn some more features about NordVPN, you should go check out my last stub truck video where we flipped it. And just like before, you can try Nord risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee. Just go to nordvpn.com slash huntergoodrich to learn more about this exclusive offer. Ah. <laughs> Time to get this leaf spring set up the heck out of here. It's an interesting design and it went together really quick when I initially chopped the truck up and it works good in keeping the axle centered and whatnot and it had good articulation but a ton of axle wrap for sure and that's probably we we're probably plunging our drive shaft in so much that that's what kept breaking yokes so our four link is going to keep our axle nice and solid while still giving a lot of articulation we can pass as much torque through it as we want I wasted too much time with this leaf spring setup. Let's get rid of it. Four link it, coil springs, swap it. What's wrong? Scooter's gonna cut the old leaf springs out and then clean up the axle. I'm gonna work on some custom mounts I designed that are gonna hold the himes. This is one of the brackets involved with the link mounts. The lower link will go here. The upper link's gonna go through here. It's gonna go through the frame. So we gotta drill this hole. All right, we're gonna take this stack of metal and make it look like this. Got a bolt and heim through here. Even have a skinny little washer in there so that when I undo all this, there'll be a little bit of space in between here so the heim will slide in and out easily. So now, let's take our little rectangles here and box this in. This link bracket is permanently attached to the frame. And inside one is like that. So now it's time to do the same on this side. Because right now all that's holding it is this bolt that goes through the frame. It's now welded along the edges. Alrighty, our upper link brackets 
I welded on the axle, so now we're gonna flip it over and put our lower legs sticking down here. Okay, all the link mounts are welded on the axle. So this should hold up good. And keep this axle under control. Okay, I'm gonna weld this hind bun into this link. These just the cutest links you've ever seen. Alrighty, last link going in. And we're in. I'm really liking how this is looking. I've never seen a four link setup quite like this. I think it's going to work out good. The lights we have set up are very bright, but we are going to pull these beams out and make room for the new lift brackets to go in. Because with lifting these front ends, you have to drop down these mounting brackets. All right, we're going to tackle these brackets now, which is going to be a greasy mess. Thanks for resting. That's the byproduct of uh, being soaked in oil. Yeah, things come apart easily. Okay, our first lift bracket's going in. The old hole was, the old hole was like right there, so we're dropping down. Maybe a little more than two inches, which will be a great fit for this truck. Looks like it grabbed. We'll try to get this beam back up now, but it's super heavy and it's going to be a pain. All right. How's that? We're really close. Okay. All right, other side, let's go. We gotta line up this axle shaft, so that's a little bit of Challenge. Use the levers. Okay, you ready? Yep. Push that other tire to clear. Okay. Here's how I'm lifting this front end. Just cut out all these rectangles of quarter inch steel. Just stack them up, and that's gonna be our lift block. All right, I'm back from my Texas trip, and I'm just excited to work on my projects and get back to being focused on those. Now, for this four link setup, which I know some of you may think that my angles are too shallow for this triangulation to work well. However, with how shorter links are, I think we're going to get away with that shallow of an angle. But I'll certainly do some donuts with it and we'll test the side loading capabilities of this. Now, the next thing we need to tackle are the springs, which we have to have a change of plans with those because we're running into some issues, but there's some good issues. Pretty much this thing articulates a ton. A lot more than I was expecting out of this, out of these little links. None of the himes are binding right now. Literally the only thing from limiting that tire dropping any further down is that it just brings this sidewall into the cab more. So if I relieve that more, we could get even more articulation, but I think I'm pretty dang pleased with what we got working with here because all the driveline angles stay happy throughout the travel. But Remember those little struts I showed you in the beginning of the video? We just can't do stub truck to the service of running those little struts because they only travel like four inches and that's going to lock out all this articulation we get. So we're balling out, going all the way up to these long travel coilovers. 
So next on the list of things to do, let's figure out how to install this guy somewhere in there like that. So these coilovers should work way better because they're over double the travel of these old struts. So we get them out of here. But the mounting points on these coilovers is just this little steel bushing and this rubber bushing. So there's not a lot of articulation for us to get there. So I had those joints since there's more pivot going this way instead of this way. I made these brackets to weld to the axle like that. And then the shock will go through this way with a bolt facing that way perpendicular to the axle instead of something like that. The axle shock mounts are on and I welded this little tube structure here to hold the upper mounts and then I'm also going to run a tube from here up to there to put some support there but first we're going to throw in the shocks and see where I can run this tube. Dude, your mom's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah, baby, it's all done. Forklift flexing it out. Everything clears just fine. Nothing's binding up. It's pretty good articulation. I'm pretty happy with that. Even the drive line's still happy up in there. Now what's even funnier than the amount of articulation we got out of the back is how little articulation comes out of the front. Literally nothing. The <laughs> axles are still totally parallel to the truck. So this whole twin traction beam set up with some beefy leaf sprains may not be the way to go. We may have to upgrade the front end too. But we do have some more struts. So we could get rid of the leaf springs and do struts. And then stuff will be completely leaf spring deleted. And then it'll really be able to shine. But for now, I guess let's go ram it into some snow piles. High centered on some ice. Oops. This does the trick. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think my limited slip axle is pretty blown out. Well, we kind of dug it out a little bit. We'll set it back down on these ramps. Yeah. No, no, he ah. gone. I always let my intrusive thoughts win and then the axle shafts break. All right, back with how this suspension used to be, it could not do a burnout, it could not lay the power to the floor. But now, let's see if we can do it.
That wasn't half bad. <laughs> Let's see if the engine fires back up.